When veins are swollen, twisted, and visible under the skin, usually on the leg, it is called varicose veins. Varicose veins affect almost 30% of the population, making it one of the most common diseases. We will discuss the signs and symptoms of varicose veins, their causes, forms, differences, and treatment and management at home. The main characteristic of varicose veins is visible, swollen, twisted veins under the skin, usually blue or dark purple. In many cases, a person feels heavy, achy, or painful, especially after standing or sitting for a prolonged period. In half of the cases, people with varicose veins also have swollen legs. Throbbing, burning sensations or muscle cramps at night are also possible, but less common signs. Varicose veins can cause poor circulation, leading to a lack of oxygen and nutrients in the leg muscles. This can trigger muscle cramps, especially at night when blood flow naturally slows down. Generally, varicose veins do not have serious complications, but in around 1% of cases, ulcers develop on the legs. Sometimes, varicose veins can rupture and start bleeding. Also, in 1% of cases, blood clots develop in varicose veins, leading to leg pain. This condition is called thrombophlebitis, but it is not life-threatening. Another, more important risk associated with varicose veins is deep vein thrombosis, which is a potentially life-threatening condition if a clot dislodges from the veins and obstructs the lungs. Although the general risk of deep vein thrombosis is low, varicose veins increase the risk by about three times. Varicose veins occur because of dysfunction in vein valves. When these valves are weak or damaged, blood flows backward and pools in the veins, causing them to become enlarged. Vein valves can be damaged due to aging, genetics, and hormones, especially the female sex hormone estrogen, which relaxes vein walls and increases the risk of varicose veins. This makes varicose veins more common among women. Pregnancy is also a risk factor because blood volume and pressure in the veins increase, damaging vein valves. Prolonged sitting and standing decrease blood flow from the legs to the heart, increasing pressure in the veins. Obesity is another important risk factor because additional weight stresses the body and fluid overload increases pressure in the veins. Types of varicose veins Although most varicose veins are on the legs, characterized by enlarged, twisted, visible veins under the skin, they account for about 80% of varicose vein cases and are called trunk varicose veins. The main characteristic of trunk varicose vein is large, twisted veins visible under the skin. Less common type is reticular varicose veins. They are smaller than trunk varicose veins. These are visible under the skin, but less pronounced. More common in women, often found around the knees, thighs, and buttocks. And third type is spider veins, telangiectasia the smallest type of varicose veins. They appear as tiny blue, red, or purple veins close to the skin surface, resembling spider webs or tree branches. They are primarily a cosmetic concern, usually causing no symptoms or serious risks. In rare cases, they might cause mild discomfort, more common on the face and legs, sometimes influenced by sun exposure and physical injury. Despite the differences, all types of varicose veins result from vein valve dysfunction. In fit or muscular individuals, veins can become more prominent due to lower body fat and increased muscle mass, which pushes veins closer to the skin surface. These veins are usually straight and not twisted and are not considered varicose veins, as varicose veins are characterized by being twisted and having decreased blood flow. There are other types of varices, such as esophageal varices or hemorrhoids, but when we refer to varicose veins, we typically mean the twisted veins on the legs. Now let's talk about treatment. Compression stockings are considered the first-line treatment. They apply pressure to the legs, helping the legs and veins move blood more effectively. Typically, they are recommended to be worn throughout the day while you are active and removed at night while you sleep. Compression stockings improve symptoms but do not cure varicose veins. Exercise is also important, especially walking, as it improves circulation and strengthens calf muscles. Leg strengthening exercises such as calf raises, leg lifts, and ankle rotations are effective. Weight loss is important for treating varicose veins. Avoid prolonged sitting or standing, and take breaks to move around every 30 minutes. If you stand for prolonged periods, shift weight from one leg to the other. If you need to sit for a long time, use a footrest to elevate your feet. Leg elevation is an important treatment method. 
Elevate your legs for 15 to 20 minutes several times a day. Lie down and raise your legs above heart level, using a pillow or a recliner to support them. This helps reduce pressure in leg veins and improves blood return to the heart. Sclerotherapy is one of the easiest and most effective treatments for varicose veins. It involves injecting a solution into the vein, causing damage and scar formation, leading to the vein being closed. Multiple veins can be treated in a single session, depending on the extent and size of the varicose veins. The treated veins generally begin to fade within a few weeks, though it may take up to a few months for full results. This method is usually considered safe and effective. As for medications, diasmin and hesperidin are commonly used to relieve symptoms and swelling. They are often combined in doses like 450 mg of diasmin and 50 mg of hesperidin, taken twice daily with meals. Horse chestnut extract is also effective and is sold as a supplement. It reduces swelling, improves venous tone, and decreases capillary permeability. It is typically taken two to three times daily with meals if in capsule form, and applied as a gel to the affected area two to three times daily. Grape seed extract is rich in antioxidants, prontocyanidins, and can strengthen vein walls, improve circulation, and reduce swelling. Traxorutin is another supplement that reduces capillary permeability and fragility and improves microcirculation. For second-line treatment, laser treatment is used. A laser fiber is inserted into the vein, delivering energy that causes the vein to collapse and seal shut. It permanently treats varicose veins, but does not prevent the creation of new ones. Another method is radiofrequency ablation, which uses radiofrequency energy to heat and close off varicose veins. It is highly effective for large varicose veins. Surgical ligation and stripping are effective but are not commonly used because of their invasiveness.